odd to me that gay and trans have wound up <coughs> in the same yeah. grouping, LGBTQ, I, excuse me, I'm sorry, hate crime, I don't remember all I think the, there's a two and an A in there. And I, okay, uh, then that's what I just said. I don't know the, what the, the two is. I, <laughs> that's two spirit. I saw, for, is that what it is? I, it could be, who oh knows? Oh my God, if that's what it is, that's amazing. But, what I'm saying is... is tr that is what it is? It is. Oh, Jesus. Two-spirit? Oh, my God. And I can, I'm not sure I could even define two-spirit. Uh, two-spirit. I didn't even know it existed until I saw Trudeau. That's hysterical. Trudeau rattled off the newest, latest list one oh, time. Lord. We we have to protect... Unlike America, we have to protect our... Oh. Two-spirit people. Um, um, I don't know. Let's find out what two-spirit is. What does two-spirit mean? Two-spirit, I think <laughs> I've heard uh, AOC talk about it, too. Oh, boy. It's some, it's <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now offensive. Amongst Native Americans, a person who identifies with any of a variety of gender identities, which are not exclusively those of their biological sex. <laughs> yeah, but gender identities, which are not exclusively... How many of them are there? How many but, gender but, identities exist? Two-spirit? But, it, but in that definition, it said it said transgender. Yeah. And why do we also need to include right. it if we have transgender already? Because one person complained, I'm guessing. Well, but, I believe with Native Americans, that's what they refer to transgender people as. I think I think it's the Lakota. Look that up. I think it was a, a like a protected class in their community because they felt like this person understood both groups. They were biologically male, but they had so many traits of being feminine. They were probably gay men, but they were biologically male that had so many traits of, of femininity that they thought they were two-spirit. Like, this is the type of person that we could come to for guidance because right. they understand women and they understand men. And so it was thought of that way. The same way, like, they had some, like, fascinating roles in their culture. Like, one of them was a Hayoka, which was their <laughs> sacred clown. They had a, a guy who made fun of everything. And if you couldn't make fun of something, it was bullshit. Hmm. Like if you had the, the, the greatest warrior, the biggest chief, the, 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 the chief's wife, you can make fun of anything. And if you couldn't make fun of it, it was bullshit. Like there was something, if you had, hey, don't make fun of that, everybody's like, whoa, what is this thing we can't make fun of? Like why, why can't we make fun of this? Is this a bullshit thing? And it's a good way to detect bullshit. What is this? Describing what the Lakota have in Lakota. There are no pronouns. We don't speak uh, We don't have she and he in Lakota men will speak differently than women We know their gender based on how they are talking and what words they are using It says oh. that's their third gender. And who's the dude in the Two picture? Spirit people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's the Lakota culture. I, okay, so that's where that term comes okay, from. Okay, well Enjoy okay. it Lakota. We don't all have to follow no um, I, well also I don't have to remember it It's too right. long you're crazy that but, humans are male and female gross. I'm fluid Okay, but like you say, you know, when you get a little older and mm -hmm. mutilated your body, you maybe that'll be a decision you're happy with, and maybe it won't, but there's no going back. No going back. No going back. Yeah. Hey, woman. Since your man ain't got no heart, what's going on in my apartment tonight? I'll show you a real man. There you go. What? What? Fuck you. <laughs>